Well, hello, boys and girls, Mr. Jim here. Hope you've been staying safe and well. And thanks for watching another video. It's so good to be with you again. You know, the last time we were together in church, I told you that we would be talking about superheroes in the Bible. Well, of course, we haven't had a chance to get back together in person, so I thought we would do this by way of video. I told you I'd found the book Superheroes in the Bible and that I was going to share from this book. And so we're going to start with that today. And it's going to be so exciting. I can't wait. Let me tell you a little bit about superheroes, first of all. What is a superhero? You might think of superheroes as daring guys with gals with flowing capes who are able to do superhuman feats like fly over buildings, bend metal with their bare hands, and see through closed doors. <laughs> you probably love to dress up and pretend to be a superhero. I used to do that when I was your age. Uh, but at the same time, you, you might think, well, I can never be a real superhero. Well, these stories are here to tell you that you can be a superhero and that the kind of superhero you can be is more awesome than the one with the flowing cape or the bulging muscles or the eye mask. You can be a superhero for Jesus. Whoa! And the stories in this book, you will learn the way the Bible superheroes are. Superheroes for Jesus. Like Moses, he was a brave and obedient leader who led the people through the Red Sea on dry land. Remember David? He was a, he was a young boy who stood up and defeated a giant. Noah built a boat and made it through the flood and into a new world. Each of these men obeyed God. Each was brave and each was a superhero for Jesus. So a superhero, a true superhero, doesn't have to have those bulging muscles and supernatural powers. A true superhero has faith in Jesus and the courage to obey Him and do His will. So we're going to learn about some of these superheroes in the days ahead as we share these stories. So let's talk about our very first superhero in the Bible. You know who it is? Well, of course you do. It's superhero Adam, the very first man. I know you probably never thought of Adam as a superhero, but let's find his story, which is in Genesis chapter 2. In the beginning, there was nothing to hear, and nothing to see. There was no world, no sun or stars or, or moon, no people, no animals. Then God started making things. He made the earth. He made the land and the oceans. God made the sun, the moon, and thousands of stars. God made all kinds of animals to live on the land and in the waters. He made great big elephants and tiny little monkeys. He made whales and seahorses to swim in the ocean. He made birds to fly in the sky. God made lots of things, but he wasn't finished. God saved his best creation for last. That was the very first man. God made Adam out of the plain old dust of the ground. And God made Adam in his own image. That means Adam could think and make decisions, just like God does. He could do work and, and take care of the animals. And God made a beautiful place for Adam to live. And then God gave Adam a very special job to do. He asked Adam to give names to all the animals and all the other things that God had made. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty super. Well, Adam was busy, but, well, Adam was lonely. He was kind of lonely. He, he needed another person to, 
talk with him and help him with the work. So you know what God did. He made Adam fall asleep and he did the very first operation. Yes, he took a rib from Adam's side and made the very first woman. And her name was Eve and they were the beginning of all people. Wow! Two superheroes. Adam was special because he was the first man God made. And he was made in God's image. Boys and girls, you are special too. Because you are made in God's image. You can think. You can make choices. You can be kind and loving. You can do any job that God gives you to do. The Bible says in Genesis 2-7, The Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils, and the man became a living person. Think about that. God made that very first man special. And God has made you special. And God has a special task, and special task, more than one task actually, that only you can do. And so ask God to help you to be the special person He wants you to be. Listen to these words in Psalm 139, verse 14. I will praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Say the first part of that verse with me. I will praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. I will praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Let's pray together and then we're going to learn a song together, okay? Lord, we thank you for the superheroes in the Bible and we thank you for Adam that you made him special and that you've made us all special, that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Lord, help us each to show the love of God and the love of the Lord Jesus to those around us, especially in these times that we're having now. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. I want us to learn a song right now. It's a song you may not have ever heard. And I have a couple of puppet friends of mine, Ollie and Sue, to teach the song to us. Now, I don't have a picture of Ollie and Sue or anything like that, but I do have a recording that they did. So I want you to listen to this song, and then we'll try to sing it together. They'll do a verse, and then we'll, we'll do the verse, okay? It's called, I Keep Falling in Love with Him. Let's fire up the music here. Hey, Ollie, boy, do I have a part for you. And you know what? You're really going to like it because, uh, you know, all you got to do is sing over and over again. Oh, it That's sounds right. real easy, Sue. I think I kind of like that. Uh, all I have to do is sing over and over again, huh? That's right, Al. Listen, boys and girls. Here's Are how it goes. Ready? Try it now.
All right. Isn't that a fun song? I hope you enjoyed that. Try to sing it along this week, okay? I keep falling in love with him over and over again. Well, I better stop for now. I'll be talking to you guys and girls soon. Lord keep you safe and well. Bye-bye.